Do you remember back in the day before the Beyond Burger and Impossible Burger? Like back before we had little computers in our pockets, we had to use phones that had cords on them, and you would send secret codes to your friends on devices that they couldn't respond on, and they would send you secret codes back, 143. Vegan burgers were made from beans, mostly black beans, and some of them were really good. Now black bean burgers are great, but this one can will make a whole lot more than just the patty, a can of chickpeas. So let's go. The first thing we're gonna be making is our burger sauce. We're we're gonna be making kind of like a flavored aioli. Uh, we're gonna be using the aqua faba, which is the liquid from this can of chickpeas. So first we're gonna do is just drain our chickpeas, saving all of the liquid. For the sauce, we're gonna be starting with a quarter cup of the aqua faba and one clove of garlic. Now we wanna like chop up that garlic a little bit. Now garlic itself has some emulsion properties, which is gonna help this kind of emulsify up even more. We're gonna be using just a pinch of dry mustard, a little bit of sea salt, two teaspoons of vinegar, and then using an immersion blender, or if you're gonna be using a steak and blender, start this on a slow speed and then slowly drizzle in three quarters of a cup of avocado oil. And when I'm saying slow, you want this to drip. You need it to drip because if you pour it all in, it will not emulsify. Now there are some tricks to emulsifying with an immersion blender. It does come out a lot easier. I am just showing you the incredibly safe way of doing this. Now you can see this comes out like the consistency of mayo and just on its own, this is very good garlic aioli. Now we're just gonna add some of those dried minced onions, but a teaspoon of ketchup some paprika, and then a load of black pepper. Now we're just gonna give this a quick mix up, make sure that it has all of the right flavors. I added just a touch more ketchup to this. And then all we need to do is just, we're gonna, I'm gonna transfer it into a bottle because I like squirt bottles. And then once you're transferred, make sure that your squirt bottle has a large enough opening to fit those onions that are gonna be in there because that's gonna be a part of it. Toss those in the fridge, that's gonna hydrate up those onions and all of those flavors are gonna start mingling together and you're gonna have a really great peppery, kind of like a old spread for this burger sauce. It's gonna be awesome. Now for the burger patty itself, let's start with our chickpeas. We need to gently mash the chickpeas. Now we don't wanna mash these all the way. We want them to have some chickpea texture left. We, variation of texture makes things meatier. And once we have those mashed, all we're gonna do is we're gonna add a quarter cup of wheat gluten and then gently knead that in. You'll see the gluten start to get a little hydrated, but it remains pretty crumbly at this point. So we're just gonna cover that up and set it aside while we prepare the rest of the ingredients for the burger. Now let's mince up a quarter of a red onion, about six cloves of garlic, and we need six cherry tomatoes that I'm just gonna quarter Order. Now the garlic, onions, and tomatoes are gonna act as the flavor of this, but also they're gonna add a texture element by, they're gonna be holding the fat. They're gonna hold the oil into this burger, which is gonna really add to the mouthfeel of this thing. So we're gonna start with a nonstick pan over like a medium high heat, and uh, we're gonna be adding some avocado oil and olive oil. Toss in your onions, and once they're translucent, we're gonna go ahead and add our tomatoes and mix those in. Now at this point, we're just trying to cook down the tomatoes just a little bit before we add our garlic in last. Now once the garlic's all cooked down, everything seems like it's it's nice and translucent all of those flavors are mixed together we're gonna add all of this including the oil into a food processor or a, or a blender now along with this I'm gonna add a half of a cup of whole grain oats and then we're just gonna quickly pulse that mixture together now we're just gonna add in our chickpea mixture about a teaspoon of vinegar a tablespoon of marmite and two tablespoons of potato starch now you can use a few different starches I just like potato starch it works really well for this we're also gonna be adding some smoked paprika and a about a teaspoon of cocoa powder. Now we're just gonna pulse this together just a few times. You don't wanna overmix, otherwise you're gonna break down the chickpeas way too much. You wanna have a little bit of texture there. Now at this point, we're just gonna dump this out onto a work surface. It is going to be a little crumbly. You're not gonna get like super strong gluten forming like seitan. Uh, so we're just gonna form this together, lightly knead it, and then we're gonna form this into our burger patties. Now I'm gonna weigh these out so that way I get an even amount. We made about a pound and a quarter. We're gonna be doing quarter pound burgers, uh, just like normal. And so we'll just form these into our burger patties and we're just gonna stack those up into like a container, throw them in the fridge and allow them to rest like the rest of the day. I like to make these like in the early afternoon so that way they um, have time to kind of like form together and make really nice burgers by, by the evening time for dinner. And now is a good time for some mud. Today's sponsor. Mud water is a coffee alternative with four adaptogenic mushrooms and Ayurvedic herbs. I've been drinking mud water in the mornings for just over a year now, and I have been loving it. Now I knew that I needed to cut down on my coffee intake. I was drinking a lot and I was getting like anxiety and jitters. And once I cut down on that coffee and started drinking mud water, all of that went away. Mud water is a drinkable ritual that addresses mind, body, and soul. It's as versatile as your morning coffee without the anxiety or midday cream. Crash. Mud water can be made in a variety of ways. Make it into a latte or just add a tablespoon to hot water. Whatever your preference is. So good. 
It's so good. With one seventh the caffeine of a cup of coffee, you get the energy and you can drink mud all day without impacting your sleep. Mudwater kindly sent me their starter kit. The kit includes a 30 serving tin of mud, USB rechargeable frother, free sample of their vegan coconut creamer, and mud includes ingredients such as cacao, chai, lion's mane, chaga, and cordyceps, which offers a huge range of benefits, including helping your mood, focus, physical performance, and your immune system. Mudwater is 100% USDA certified organic non-GMO, gluten-free, and plant-based, along with it being Whole30 and kosher. And their tins are recyclable too. I love that. So gang, try Mudwater today and get 15% off their starter kit by clicking the link in the description below and using code SAUCE-4. You are going to love Mudwater. Speaking of water, let's get back to our aquafaba. So we have about a half of a cup of aquafaba left and we're gonna make some cheese. Throw that into a saucepan over a medium heat and add about a quarter cup of vegan butter. Uh, once that's melted down, whisk that up, then add a quarter cup of nutritional yeast, pinch of salt, some onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder, some smoked paprika. Then in a separate container, we're gonna add three tablespoons of tapioca or arrowroot starch. I like to arrowroot starch for this. And a tablespoon of agar agar. We're just gonna mix that with just a little bit of cold water to make sure that that is all kind of mixed together and then pour that into our already cooking cheese mixture. We're gonna whisk that up then, quickly bring that hot cheese mixture over to a parchment paper lines baking sheet, pour that over the baking sheet, and then we're gonna use another sheet to kind of like flatten it out. Out. Uh, we want to make sure that this is pretty flat. These are going to be like cheese slices. Once you got it flat, leave it covered, throw it in the fridge. That needs to be in the fridge for about an hour to firm up. So it's been about an hour. Let's get these burgers rolling. So I'm going to toast some buns while I'm heating up the pan. Once the pan's heated up, we're going to pull those buns off and then we're going to toss some oil in the pan, cover the burgers in my burger seasoning, which is just salt, pepper, a little bit of MSG and some burger seasoning mix from McCormick. I mean, this stuff really is really good. Toss them in the pan, make sure there's enough oil to kind of come up the sides of the burgers just a little bit. Cook those on both sides, probably four to five minutes on each side. We also want to make sure that these are pressed pretty thin. The thinner these burgers, the better they're going to be. Now we just need to top the burgers. We have our toasted bun on the bottom. We're going to go a little bit of our burger sauce. I hope you didn't forget about it because that stuff's amazing. We're going to throw some lettuce on top of that. The burger patty, take the cheese out, cut our slices, throw a slice right on top because look at this. Look at these slices. They came out awesome. A little bit more burger sauce on the top of the bun. Throw that bun on. Now let's see what Monica has to say. Mm. That burger's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Really good. Really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love this. I love the flavor. This brings you back, right? Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. It's not beyond me. No. But this would be a really great burger. Yeah, I love this. I love um, this better than the black bean burger. And I like how is this rice in here? No, that's whole oats. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Um, Adds like in, a nice chew. I love in the old school burgers when they used to add like oats or rice or extra mm -hmm. things to kind of give it that crunch. And I think it gives it a really nice like texture and crunch in it, the in the chickpea burger. It does. Mm -hmm. Can you taste the cheese? Like, can you like, yeah, what do you think about it? It's good. It tastes like cheese to me. A vegan cheese. Mm -hmm. What about the sauce? Yeah, it tastes almost like, a, like an animal style sauce. I mean, all in all. This is exactly what I was going for. It is a little like um burger falafel, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. No. And it's got the really like, yeah, like the bacony flavor with it. Mm-hmm. And the crunch. It's meaty, has a nice chew. Mm-hmm. The cheese is really great. I mean, I know there was other ingredients other than just the chickpeas. For using chickpeas as a base and using everything from like the aquafaba and the chickpeas themselves, I'm stoked about this. Mm-hmm. It's really good. I am super stoked about this. Really happy. Here it is. Delicious. Mm. You're gonna love this one.